Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Today's video about garage door automation. Let's start from the beginning. Close garage door. Here you go. This is garage door that automated by a little device called Remutio. Today's video about this device and I'm fully aware that there are a lot of cheap and really good solutions to automate garage door. But why would I like to show this one? I spent a lot of time trying to decide which one is good for me and I wanted security, convenience, easy to install, compatibility and right price. Look, price was not as right as I would wish, however, all other features are absolutely amazing. And by the way, I've got no affiliation with those people, it's just one of those uh, devices that from my experience i would highly recommend let's start from the beginning so this device is totally compatible with all home kits so we're talking about google home or google voice and alexa and i think uh, apple so the way it works if you're driving like me a car that uh, supports uh, apple play or android auto you basically whenever you're ready tell your car or your device to open the garage and it opens it for you. So you're not reaching for keys, you don't need to store keys near you and you're driving straight in your garage. That is very convenient. However, if you don't like that and you uh, drive older car, this device supports what they call geofencing. You can set up uh, parameters. If you enter in that space, it will open garage door. If you exit in that space, it will close garage door. That part didn't work for me quite well because I like to know when I'm opening it and when I'm closing and I would like to control the distance. So first part, question is, is it compatible uh, with uh, all those voice devices? Yes, it is. It's working perfectly and never failed me. Also, uh, people say, what would stop someone uh, giving it command? You can protect your uh, device with PIN like I protected mine. So when you say, uh, um, let's say open garage door, in my case, it would ask you for security pin. If you didn't say it right, it just would refuse to open it. So there is a security in that. Now, very important part before you even start talking about voice control and other things, let's talk about uh, integration. So uh, integration is very easy. I've got a uh, garage door, pretty standard garage door that um, I guess most of the people in Australia probably would have. And I had no idea how to connect it. When you jump on those people website, they say choose brand of your garage door and choose model and they actually spit in diagram how you connect it. And literally two wires, it's really easy to connect. There's no troubles with that. Um, look, even me that I have no any clue how to connect it was easy as, right? Now, uh, the device uh, I bought on Amazon and I put a link down below if I find it. Um, it comes with one sensor. Uh, that sensor you can see right here, white sensor there. And uh, that sensor would sense when garage door opens so it actually would tell you the garage door is open why is that because let's say if you exited and you uh, let's say try to close with key and you left the house and then you realize hey did i close the garage door this sensor will tell whether it's open or not now it doesn't come with two sensors and if you would like the second sensor you need to uh, purchase separately i tried to research it for you again i put link down below why would you need a second sensor? If you put second sensor down there, somewhere in the roller door, it will also tell you if door is closed, 100% closed because sensors need to be aligned. 
So when my garage door opens, let's actually say the garage door is open. To me, if it's not open, it's closed. However, if your door is not working quite well, sometimes stuck in the middle or something like that, it's really important to know that it's actually closed. So it is compatible with voice commands. It is secure. It has sensors. Um, next important bit, why this device? It works on Wi-Fi and also works on um, uh, Bluetooth. Why does it matter? Look, if you're like me in Australia, connected by cable or HFC, you know when there's a power outage, um, your internet stops. And if your house has battery, but there's a power outage, there's no internet, uh, you cannot open it with command. If your house has a battery, but power outage does no internet, you can come to your close uh, proximity to your door. Uh, it's connecting by uh, Bluetooth and it actually opens the door uh, by Bluetooth. So you also can decide whether you can open by Bluetooth, Wi-Fi or both. I think it's quite good, it's quite beneficial and so on. Now, next one is the power. The power comes uh, uh, in a small form of power supply, which looks like an uh, old Apple uh, USB charger, so it's USB power supply, easy connect to, uh, to a device itself, which now uh, resides inside um, garage door opener, and also easy to connect in everything. So let's talk about security a little bit. So all applications, uh, application is actually phenomenal. There's so, so many different, um, I guess, features in application. And one of the features that I use, I wouldn't say often, but one that's important I do use. So you can create a key. And if you lose that key, you need to reset device and recreate everything. So you can, if you cannot get to your house, no one can actually reset device and operate it. It's the first one. When you create a key, you can also create what they call guest key and you can assign different parameters to those keys that also will report you when door opens or closes. So you've got full reporting system right there. Also, you can uh, uh, create another key and duplicate from phone to phone, but you can have only one admin key. Um, I never experienced such a convenience with uh, key and key allocation and timings and all that. So what I'm trying to say is the device is very neat, very small, easy to connect, uh, working without fault with any voice commands, uh, voice devices uh, uh, out there, and also uh, compatible with most, most of the garage doors. So if you're in a market for um, um, smart, let's say, um, garage door opener that you would like to retrofit to your older um, garage door mechanism, uh, I would highly recommend, it's called Remutio, right? And again, I tried to find it where I've got mine and I put links down below. Uh, if you have any questions about this, uh, feel free to ask. Otherwise, until next time, Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Please feel free to like, subscribe, I would appreciate it. And if you've got any questions, ask away. Until next time.